Hey creative, what's up? It's your girl Jamila and welcome back to my laboratory. Today I'm going to show you guys a great way to use sublimation sticker paper. I'll have everything I use listed in the description box below and if you like this video you learned something new make sure you give your girl a thumbs up, share this video with your friends and make sure that bell notification is on so you don't miss any of my upcoming craft tutorials. Okay creative, we're going to go ahead and start off in canva.com, hit create a design, I'm going to go down here to custom size and enter 13 by 19 because that is the size paper I'll be using. But whatever paper you're using are the dimensions you'll want to enter. I'm going to go ahead and hit R on our keyboard to bring up this um, square, which doesn't really make sense to me because why would I hit the S, you know? I just kind of trips me out sometimes. But anyway. Um, so we're going to go ahead and use this uh, square as like our template, right? We're going to make a template. So I measured my fan and it's about eight by six. So I'm just going to go ahead and stretch this out till it says eight by six. Right, and this is what we get. Now, if I wanted to be like even more realistic, I could go ahead and make sure my box is highlighted, right? Go up here to this top toolbar and these lines right here, this like border style, I can round the corner because you know, the fan isn't uh, necessarily just has sharp corners or whatever. I can go ahead and just round these corners out if I really want it to be technical. So, I mean, that's like a little trick if you guys didn't know about that. So, I'm just decorating this part. But if you wanted to go into even more detail, you go ahead and hit the R again on your keyboard. And the handle is about like, um, it's about like half an inch. It's like one and a half by four. Go ahead and just stick that up there and we can round that out too. Now tell me that don't look like the the little um board we're going to be using. Tell me it don't look like it. Okay, thank you. <laughs> so that's really like, I, this is how I always just use shapes and stuff to create my templates um whenever i'm designing something in canva okay so just use 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 a measuring tape and just use some shapes y'all okay so uh so now that we have our guide and i changed the color from yellow to black i don't know why it always defaults to yellow i need to change that so obviously i don't want black either so i'm just going to use like this grayish color right here okay and we're going to take this and we're going to lock it in place because once we start designing on it we don't want it to move so now that i locked it you see it doesn't move let me uh lock the handle as well okay so i'm going to use basically the same design that i created um in the last video where we made the customized box if you haven't seen that video I'll go ahead and link it for you guys so you can go ahead and watch that. So I'm not going to go into super deep detail about how I designed this because like I said, I'm just doing the same design. I'm going to kind of speed, speed through this, but I'm just going to be using a mix of different photos and elements in the Canva. In Canva. Um, and of course, you can watch the other tutorial to see exactly how I did this. I go into more detail there, but I'm just going to kind of speed through the design part right here okay to kind of sum up how i got this design i just used the photos and elements tab in canva i use search terms such as graduate graduation celebration grad cap like y'all i just literally just be searching random things to try and get the designs that i want and that's really all it is when you're using canva just entering search terms and seeing what pops up so but i will have a link for for everything I used in the description box of this video, as well as a free Canva Pro trial for the first 30 days. 
for you guys. Uh, my social media links will be listed in the description box as well. If you want to connect with your girl on Instagram or TikTok, tap me up in my inbox or, you know, whatever it is. If there's any tutorials that you want to see or any problems that you're having, let me know and I'll definitely try and help out if I can. And so, yeah, that's pretty much everything. But just check the description box for this video for everything that you will need. All right, so here's our design. It looks great. I'm really feeling it. I'm going to go ahead and delete the um, stick. I'm not designing the stick. I'm just going to leave it plain. I'm going to go ahead and delete this and then just duplicate it. Okay, so I have my design. I'm going to go up here to share. And we're going to go ahead and hit download. And we're going to save this as a PNG to our computer. Now, of course, you need to mirror your design when it comes to sublimation, but I didn't mirror it in Canva because you cannot mirror text in Canva. So what you can do is you can download this PNG to a website called PineTools.com. In the search bar, you can either hit, I mean, type in flip image or right here on the home screen under images this says right here flip image so either way so you go there hit browse upload the image and then hit uh flip horizontally hit flip it's flipped over here download as a png it's downloaded now you go ahead and print from your sub well from your printer and we'll go ahead and make our fan so once we finally have everything all designed and printed out we're just going to take our image and you're going to lay your sublimation print face down onto the glossy side of your sticker paper and i'm just going to go ahead and use some heat tape to kind of secure it to my paper and this sticker paper comes in uh eight and a half by 14 11 by 17 and of course 13 by 19 Y'all know I always go for the biggest. So I'm using 13 by 19 size uh, photo paper, but it does come in different various sizes for any projects you want to do. And of course, I'll have it linked for you guys in the description box of this video. Now, when you take it to your heat press, according to the website directions, it says 385 degrees for about 45 seconds. But I found that I get the best results when I press for 60 seconds. So you may have to play around with your... Um, press or your time and temp when you get your paper okay so just be mindful so i just say 45 between 45 and 60 seconds but 385 degrees is really good so once we have everything off and we're just going to go ahead and peel it off we're just going to go ahead and cut that out the paper does tend to curl it's a little annoying but you know we can still manage so we're just going to go ahead and take our board out of the plastic and this looks like the little dollar tree dry erase panel okay so we're just going to take it and just go ahead and stick your image on there i never just lay it completely flat on the first ground you see how i have a little bit of it still up so that way when you press the air has the chance to escape and you don't get air bubbles okay so don't just take your sticker paper and just place it straight down on there leave a little bit up so you as you lay it down you can press it out and that really helps with minimizing the air bubbles. Then you just go ahead and take some scissors and an exacto knife and clean it up. And I made this double sided. So what I'm doing to the front, I'm going to go ahead and do the exact same thing to the back. So, you know, whenever they call the graduate name, you put your fan up in the air and you start cheering or whatever. But I mean, you know, I did this for graduation, but it, it can be used for church or, you know, uh, game day football games. Just really use your imagination, you guys, and let it run wild. Like, use this as an example, but, you know, do do what it is that you want to do. And this is the custom box that I was mentioning earlier where I actually walked you guys through how to do this design. And, I mean, if you want to do the custom box, put a custom stole in there with your fans, some uh, T-shirts, a custom grad cap. Like, just take this up a notch you guys just use it as an example and just really really want wow with it and when y'all make something tag me because i really be wanting to see what y'all make okay so thanks for watching you guys thanks for rocking with me i really hope that you learned something or at least i inspired you and if i have please give the video a thumbs up 
share with your friends. Make sure you're subscribed. Check the description box for everything you need and I'll see you later.